No mercy. Looks like free XP. In my way. I remember. This is kind of awkward to ask, but how's Carol doing? I'm doing fine. Frisk, in any dimension of your world, wherever the where you, the kills, on Q. They won't understand your advice until it's too late. I know you're here, Carl. Us Anons and maybe Frisk knows you're here. Show yourself, or so our mans will make you. What a joke. <laughs> Since when? Since now, brings Carol into reality and turns him into a powerful spirit. You reach for the all your might into the abyss to pull Kara into reality and turn him into a power spirit. <laughs> but you reach, but your hand doesn't reach anything. <laughs> Don't you get it? I'm already here. I've been here for a while now, but no one's noticed. <laughs> I've got to say though, this is going to be much more interesting with an audience. Especially when this audience is completely powerless. <laughs> you still can't touch us, Kara. We are separated by a much powerful barrier than the one that kept all the under monsters under Mount Ebot. And even with your power, you cannot penetrate it. Hey, jackass! Such a shame as a fourth wall protecting me, eh? Tell me, how rare you are? Some might get a chuckle out of this. So, demon boy, since I know you're a child and you won't understand me, here's the short version. I'm not afraid of you. You're right, but you're also wrong. Yes, dear audience, I'm well behind my reach. I cannot harm, but this is fine. It's not you. All your power I want. But I could hurt you all the same. Ah! Your ass block is the cutest! I absolutely love seeing the slice of life character and moment for everyone and the fairly character! Thank you for your fair and your underground story with us. This is where I go to see more happy. Because you care about them. Because you come here to see them happy. Because you're too naive to stand. Understand, caring about others also cause their pain. <laughs> Kara, you are powerless and weak and stupid for coming back. Okay, you got me. I'm, I'm trying to make you mad. Is it isn't working because I want to fight. Oh, believe me, I would love to fight you. But sadly, that is quite impossible. Cool story, Kara. How about instead for one to do something that is naive, boring, or predictable? Because at this point, you're pretty much what you become. A blind spirit that tries to make people suffer. Yeah, very interesting. Sticks and sounds, my friend. If I was really so boring to you, why go through the weak effort for in weak insults on me? I must admit, though, I admire your spirit. <laughs> Oh, what have we done? Char is pretty much going to cause chaos in the world. Maybe if it was a bad idea to wake him up. Well, we fucked up. Great job, Tumblr. You gave the dirt demon an audience. And now everyone will love. It's gonna die. Fuck. <laughs> He's starting to understand now. I'm the one and I only took the genocide route and enjoyed it. Um, do your best, Kara. Make them suffer before they die. Ah, now there's someone who gets it. Don't worry, I did not intend for them to die peacefully. Do enjoy the show, partner. <laughs> Kara, no. Kara, yes. Sans, something wick wicked that comes this way. Prepare megalomania. It's time to dunk. Sands! I'm not gonna have a fucking read there. Sands? Are you alright? Toy. We need to find Frisk. No. Now. 
on Mount Ebot. De de definitely late for dinner now. Mum's gonna k kill me. Frist is a deserter in the fours, like a great evil that was once silence has been awoken. I can't go home yet. If I turn back, kid's probably gonna fall into a bit of lava and a crazy attempt to get my attention. Wait, what? What's that meant to me anyway? What great evil. Whatever it is, I'm sure the others can handle it. I'm not good at fighting anyway. But that's not true, is it? Huh? You're an excellent fighter, Frisk. You're more powerful than any of them. Papyrus, Undyne, Metaton. <laughs> Sand. Who, who are you? Why are you talking about. What about Tom Kid? Uh, no, I, you're trying to trick me. You must be the evil thing I was warned about just now. Fascinating, isn't it? The things the human mind does to protect itself. You've forgotten all the wonderful times we've had together. You're a lion. Ooh, am I? <laughs> Shut up. Do you remember the face and uh, look at mother's face? It will be tore apart with a toy knife. Sh Shut up! What oh, that way we sucker punch that idiot skeleton's head off in his shoulders when we try to spare us. Uh, um, what about. Shut up, Kara! <laughs> so, you remember my name? I'm flattered. So, Frisk, let's get to the chase. I've got places to go and a world to destroy. If I need to do that, I need your body. Without being yours, of course. You, you don't have a choice in the matter, so I might as well take it from you willingly or by force. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm? Hey, true pacifist, fucko. If, unless you have squinted eye, blah 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 blah. Yeah, nothing but a retard. Th th they're right. You shouldn't be able to possess me. And if you were be able to do that, why are you doing? didn't do it now? That's because my ties to this world were very weak. Even with every ounce of my determination in my soul, it's very difficult to stay in this world after death. But then I was given a very unique opportunity. Basically, I have that intuitive skeleton, Sans, to thank. He was so eager to get his absolute father back into existence that it never occurred for him. When you rip holes in space-time, wandering spirits like me can step right on through. And now I'm finally part of this world again. I'm like a ghost, but uh, a more powerful soul. After that, it was a matter of time. Gathering my strength, I plan wait for an opportunity. It was easy with that guest and meddling, like he always does. So now, you don't need to kill literally everyone you meet just to meet, take control of you. I just need you to overpower your soul with mine. Easy peasy. So Frisk, just how did to- uh, uh Ah, you're fucking- Kid, you're gonna wish you stayed dead. 